what's going on guys and welcome to bogey rc videos so looking at this trx 4m defender two words come to mind and both of those two words are one word lower and lower so i want to lower the center of gravity and i want to lower the gear ratio and we're going to do that today but check this out this is one thing about this truck that really bothers me and look how this back tire sits. It's, it's like it's at an angle. And uh, we're going to address that when we lower the center of gravity. Um, in lowering the center of gravity, we are going to uh, start out with these trio wheels. And these are some Mickey Thompson tires we're going to install on here. These do have the brass ring uh, weighted. I think they're going to look pretty good on this truck. And uh, we're going to get rid of uh, whatever it is that makes that back tire lean out like that. I don't know what's going on there. If I do like this, it'll, uh, you know, kind of stay there for a minute. But it just kind of naturally wants to lean out like that. Bugs me. And uh, we are also going to install these uh, metal links got a little bit of weight to that that's going to put some weight down low we are going to install this uh low range uh transmission low gear transmission low speed transmission whatever they want to call it and if we have time we will go ahead and uh install this little light kit so let's get into it all right, guys, so I did figure out what was going on with the tire. This uh, bead on the back side wasn't all the way in, I guess. And uh, it was, you know, it wasn't like this, but it, was, it wasn't it was right. So uh, once we put the bead back in place like it belongs, that kind of straightened out why that tire was leaning over. Just couldn't see it with the body on. So now that we have the body off, we are going to take the uh, battery tray out. Uh, looks pretty simple. couple screws there. Uh, M1.5 is the size we're using for this guy. We'll get the uh, transmission case out, or the uh, battery tray out of the way. And then we will go ahead and... Uh, get what are we hanging up on ah there we go we'll get that out of the way and we'll uh take our transmission out four screws here this looks like it's going to be a real simple uh install swap i didn't get the gears i got the whole transmission and motor assembly but they do sell the gears separately the high speed the low speed and probably the stock gear ratios as well they're like five or six bucks not very expensive but uh i just want to uh get what i could and that's what the uh the shop had available um a lot of the shops i find didn't get very much of the uh scale accessories and pieces and parts for these so yeah, it was pretty simple to take that out. Now we have to, uh, let's see here. We'll get this little uh, zip tie out of our way. And this one is to our motor, so we'll pull that out. slide it through the uh, battery tray it's pretty nice it looks like they've uh, designed into the uh, shape of the tray a little wire routing scenario for us there we go motor and transmission are out uh, let's get this new guy here and uh, we'll get it installed it's just backwards of what we just did. I'll probably uh, 
go ahead and do that off camera um, I think while we're at this point it would probably be a good idea to uh, go ahead and change these links out uh, links pretty simple self-explanatory just uh, remove the screws swap the links put them back in so let me do that let me put the motor back in and uh i'll come back when we get that done don't want all right guys come to a little stopping point we got the uh, front links installed and uh one of the first things that came to mind as i was doing this is the uh the guys that are always talking about oh my fingers are too fat i can't i can't mess with the uh little micro crawlers uh, this kind of puts me in mind working on a one-tenth scale, guys. This one is, uh, screws are a lot bigger. Everything is is a lot uh, easier to work on, I think, than the one twenty-fourth scale. And another thing that crossed my mind as I'm doing this is these, uh, these little rod ends, even on the plastic ones, uh, quite a bit of difference in weight, but even these little rod ends, I'm thinking if we were to keep these little plastic guys and cut those off right there that might give us some uh, little rod ends we could use for custom SCX24 to FCX24 conversions or even SCX24 to TRX4M conversions should we decide to start doing some custom builds so that's just something to keep in mind uh, these things are real heavy. This uh, I'm 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 feeling like that's just a solid chunk of steel there, guys. These are these are going to add some weight down low. Uh, you're not going to bend these. I don't think this truck is uh, heavy enough to uh, bend these rods in any way, shape, or form. So I'm going to go ahead and get the back installed. I was going to go ahead and put a little bit of uh, heat shrink tubing around these O-rings. But unfortunately, I don't have the correct size with me, so I'm going to skip that for now, and I will come back and readdress that at a later date. All right, guys, after about, oh, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes of fumbling around, we do have this guy back together, low-speed transmission. Um, we got the new suspension links front and rear. Uh, these guys are pretty thick. Um, let me see these these are some hot racing SCX 24 links I don't know if we can get a good view because these are still in the package but uh, these are substantially thicker than these I got a feeling guys once the aftermarket hits and uh, we get some metal gears for the uh, diffs and for the uh, transmission this truck is going to be a tank this is uh this is a pretty beefy truck i think this is the most beefy of any of the micro scale trucks i've seen so far in so far as the way it's built the size of the pieces and parts the screws um yeah this is going to be a good platform i do believe and i uh, noticed too that these uh these rear links are almost the same exact size length as the uh, SCX24 links. These ones, let's see, these are, looks like these are for the C10 size. So, yeah, it looks like uh, there might be some interchangeability as well when it comes to these uh these platforms and look at there they put a clip okay okay i see so they have uh already installed some clips on the rear shocks look at there let me take that out that is probably put in there on purpose because of the uh, the weight of the body in the back. They probably put these little clips in there. But anyway, um, 
Before we put the wheels and tires on, I also have some new some new hexes. They are the metal hexes. Um, we'll go ahead and install the metal hexes on here, get the wheels and tires on it, put it back together and see what we got. All right, guys, so we got the new uh, wheel hexes put in. Look at that. Look at that. If you remember in the first video, this truck would not, uh, wouldn't do it, doesn't do it this way. Let me see. No, it doesn't do it that way, but this way, as you can see, she's, uh, she's balanced. Now, we don't have the battery in. I'm assuming once we put the battery in, it's, uh, not going to want to do that anymore. Let me see. Nope, she still won't stay balanced with this big old battery. But without it, uh, at least to this direction, it stayed balanced. Um, don't know what's the difference between one direction and the other. Unless maybe the, I don't have the steering centered up perfectly. But, uh, yeah, it's obvious that we've lowered our center of gravity quite a bit. Um, let's just go ahead and uh, slap the body on here and take a peek real quick. See what these wheels and tires look like with the new body. Uh-huh. That's why they had the... Uh, that's why they had the clips on the shocks. But, uh, yeah, I think cosmetically it looks better. I'm going to go ahead and put these uh, clips back on the back shocks. They, they're there to take up the, uh, the weight from the rear of this vehicle because it's uh, quite a bit heavier to, to the back body-wise than it is to the front. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to look a lot better. And uh, here in just a second, while I got it... Uh, at this point, we might as well throw this light kit in here for Tony. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is the uh, Traxxas Pro Scale light kit. This is uh, for the TRX4M Land Rover Defender. Uh, part number 9784. So let's look at this guy out and see what it takes to install this. As I understand, it's uh, not very difficult. So, uh, hopefully this won't take but a few seconds and we'll get it done as well. And see where this truck is at. Let's see what we get inside here. Well, okay. So, it looks like we have four light modules and a plug. Looks real simple. Um, comes also with four little screws. And the directions to uh, how we get this guy installed. Uh, looks like this is going to be real quick, real simple. So I'm going to go ahead and do it now. All right, guys. So we got these lights installed. As you can see, they are working. We did, uh, let's see, we can go ahead and uh, we show you the, uh, the rear lights along with the uh, slow crawl all in one time. So we go into reverse and uh, we get reverse lights, brake lights, and as you see, as you begin to throttle forward the brake lights go out slow crawl is much better looks like I'm trying to crawl up my my backdrop here but yeah yeah um let me go ahead and show you the uh, lights installed it was really simple just four screws um, two screws in the back here, hold these two on, two screws in the front here, hold these two on. After you remove these little covers that are, uh, installed from the factory, real simple install, plugs in here, 
if you push your easy set button it cycles through different light settings that are on this truck and then uh, of course if we hold it there's uh, mode one mode two and mode three which is crawl mode for uh, you know our crawling settings and then just a quick push changes our light mode see there we have uh, in this mode we have some hazard lights that are on if you do want to run hazards I didn't see that uh, didn't see that it had turn signals and oh that's pretty cool the uh, the brake light turns into a hazard light while you're uh, driving turns into a reverse light there I kind of like that light mode but anyway guys uh, there we have it lower center of gravity I think the truck looks better with these wheels and tires on it and uh, we have headlights tail lights you know lights We've got better crawl uh, better gears for crawling uh, all in all I think for first uh, mods on this truck that was a pretty good little go we'll do some more stuff later on I do also have the uh, the little trailer so we're gonna get that guy out and uh, I think the next thing I want to do with this truck is get it out on the trails and uh, do a little run with it and see what we got until next time, Uncle Lee, Bogear RC Video saying I'll see ya.